Dear students, in class we have understood about three dimensional transformation. Mainly we focus on rotation and translation. Now in this lecture we will go through tra developing transform equations. Now we know that 4x4 homogeneous transformation matrix can be represented as transformation matrix tree which contains rotation or orientation part. It is 3x3 element in our transformation matrix and 3 by 1 part will be position and translation fourth row will be 0 0 0 1 this is standard format of transformation matrix now let's consider a three link robotic manipulator located into global coordinate system 0 which is having x0 y0 z0 at the axis as shown in this figure now in this particular manipulator joint A is located at the origin there is a joint B which is connection of the link 2 with link 1 joint C is the connection of link 3 with link 2 L1, L2 and L3 are the link length theta1, theta2 and theta3 are the relative rotation of the joints first of all let's understand what do we mean by position and orientation of a joint coordinate system let's consider joint B is rotated by an angle theta2 and its origin that is pin connection or assembly center is translated by distance L1 with respect to joint joint A these are the shown in red color so this is joint B its rotation is theta2 with respect to A it is translated by distance L1 from the A mathematically position and orientation is described using transformation matrix the following symbols are to be used as a notations so origin of joint B we will label as B O R G we will use P as a position vector R is 3 by 3 rotation or orientation matrix into homogeneous matrix T now for the origin of B we will use A P B O R G that means position or translation of origin of coordinate system joint B with respect to coordinate system or joint A here link length L1 is the translation of joint B from joint A this is 3 by 1 position part into our 4 by 4 homogeneous transformation matrix A R B means that rotation or orientation of coordinate system B with respect to coordinate system or joint A this will form a 3 by 3 rotation or orientation part into our 4 by 4 homogeneous transformation matrix now ATB that is transformation of joint B with respect to joint A can be given as 4 by 4 homogeneous transformation matrix using these symbols we will we can write the same matrix into this form that is ATB is equal to ARB 3 by 3 rotation part and APBORG which is 3 by 1 position or translation part in figure it is shown in this there is a joint B rotation theta 2 with respect to A translation by distance L1 which is APBORG hence we will be able to get ATB now if a point is given into coordinate system B then we can describe this point by BP because it refers to coordinate system B then its displacement into coordinate system A that is AP can be obtained by ATB and we can write as AP is equal to ATB into BP in equation form this relation can be written as AP is equal to ARB BP plus APB ORG so by expanding matrix form you will be able to get equation number 2 now in figure 3 the same equation is shown as a vector addition so let's say there is some point P is given on the link 2 which is BP hence perpendicular is the vector from the origin of B APB ORG that is link length which is from A and green color is the vector AP and this is the graphical form or vector addition for the same now let's understand transform equation so again same figure is represented now in this figure let's consider some point given at the end effector of gripper and the reference of this point is right now taken as joint C which is shown as purple or blue color arrow here so point P is located on the gripper 
it described into C as given as CP. Hence, information of P it can be coordinate velocity or acceleration is measured from the origin of C. Joint coordinate system C is rotated by theta three and translated by L two with respect to B. Hence, BTC that is transformation of C with respect to B is known. Now, point P can be described with respect to B from using BTC as follows. So, BTC is known. So, if we use CP to op and multiply with BTC, we are able to get BP. It is shown in Figure five here. So, now the same point, but we are referred with coordinate system B that is from the origin of the B, B using BTC. Now, joint coordinate system B is rotated by theta two and translated by L one with respect to A. Hence, ATB that is transformation of B with respect to A is known. Now, point P can be described with respect to A using ATB as follows. That means AP AP is equal to ATB into BP. Now, using equation three, I can write AP is ATB into BTC into CP by substituting equation number three, which is here. The same is shown as a vector in in the figure five. So the now same point, but now it is referred with origin of A using this yellow color arrow. That means now it is uh, written as AP. Now joint A is consistent with global origin here, and rotated by angle theta one. Its position or translation from global origin will be zero 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 as it is coincident. Zero T A can be obtained. That is transformation of A with respect to zero is known. Now same point can be described with respect to global origin using zero T A as follows. Now zero T is known, so zero T A into A P will be able to give zero P. So point zero P now referred with global origin shown as a black color arrow here. Hence using these three transformations zero T A, A T B and B T C we are able to get absolute value of any point located on the end defector or any link. Hence, using above equations, zero P can be given as zero T A A T B B T C into C P. Hence, multiplication of these three will be will give us final transformation matrix for the end defector or creeper. As here, zero T C can be now given as zero T A A T B B T C. Hence, using zero T C zero T C position orientation of end defector creeper can be calculated. Also, the same equation will be used to calculate velocity, acceleration, forces, etc. for further analysis so in class we will discuss in detail